Today, we're going to give you tips on how to make the juiciest, most flavorful burger ever, the Smash Burger. And then at the end, I'm going to show you one of my favorite burger creations. Fire and Froth is a channel that helps people cook tasty food and brew delicious beer so we can all grow, learn, and live well. Please hit the like button if you find this video valuable. The Smash Burger is a loosely packed four ounce ball of hamburger meat that's smashed on a hot griddle until it results in a crispy surface that's packed with flavor. If you've never had a Smash Burger before, I beg you to give it a try. It will certainly change the way you make hamburgers. Now when I'm making them, I always use 80-20 hamburger meat. Less fat in the ratio and the burger is gonna crumble. It's not gonna stick together. So what I do is I, I weigh the meat, separate it into four ounce balls. Now these burgers cook very fast. You have to prepare your accoutrements ahead of time. Uh, I usually toast the buns at the same time that I'm cooking the burgers, but if I've got anything else uh, fancy, like if I've got grilled onions or something like that, or, or peppers, then I will certainly do that ahead of time. Set your skillet to a medium high heat, and then put a dollop of oil down, throw your, your four ounce ball of meat on top of that dollop of oil, and then repeat. Once you have the meat loaded up, then go ahead and take a piece of wax paper, put it down on each ball of meat, and, and then press down firmly with your spatula and hold that for 10 seconds. It's very important that you hold it for 10 seconds, and then repeat on all the other pieces. You'll notice that the juices start bubbling up through the patty. It almost cooks like a pancake. Don't forget to season with salt, pepper, and garlic. Let it cook about 80 to 90% through or one and a half to two minutes. And then hold your spatula at a 45 degree angle and slowly scrape under the patty. It's important that you maintain that angle and scrape hard so you don't lose any of the char on the bottom. And then season the other side. Throw a slice of American cheese on each patty and then after about a minute, pull the burgers off, and now it's time to assemble your masterpiece. I've made a lot of these burgers, and recently I started rough chopping hot pepidou peppers and warming them up on a griddle. I also cooked some bacon up in the oven because who doesn't like bacon on their cheeseburgers? So I put a little ketchup mixed with curry powder on the top bun, and then I add the pepidou peppers, on top of that, I threw bacon on the burgers and then some Japanese mayo and a few pickles on the bottom. This combination it is wonderful. Now that you've seen how to make a great smash burger, please watch one of our other cooking or brewing videos.